way? Yes. yes. Um, how many of you out here are entrepreneurs or business owners? Could you raise your hand, please? I'm doing a little church something here. Um, how many of you are just professionals like me who actually get their paychecks signed by someone else? Yes. Um, now, how many people use social media for personal reasons? Strictly personal. How many use it for business and personal? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, let's talk a bit about engagement, engagement, engagement. The nature of the business game has shifted from you as the entrepreneur and brand telling consumers what's cool, what to buy, and what they should think. Now, it's more about the consumer's choice, the audience's opinion, and ultimately their dollars and their choice of spending those dollars. We've gone back to a world where the consumer, the audience, holds the reins, believe it or not, where the customer is not only always right, but might even have more of a lead on where your business is going than you do. Social media is the play playground for this, and it is a unique way of marketing and reaching people, where it's in real time, it's quick, and everyone is using it. Social media is a place where you, as the entrepreneur, as the job seeker, as the professional, can le level the playing field by one, seeing its value, two, learning how to use it for your unique needs and goals, and three, learning how to measure the return on investment, which many people have concerns about. Now, let's talk a bit about how do we use social media? Now, in my more than 10 years in the media industry, working for Black Enterprise, for instance, I'm very big on Twitter. I love Twitter. If you're on Twitter, I'm at J.P. Hazelwood. That is, again, at J.P. Hazelwood. You can follow me and see. I have over 19,000 followers. I love you all. I love all my followers because it allows me to engage with all my readers from Black Enterprise. So not only can I find new businesses to cover, new entrepreneurs to talk about, new subjects to talk about and stay in the, you know, in the know of everything, um, they can also directly reach me. Now, we're all in a who cares kind of, you know, environment. So I've learned and lived by two things. Don't waste my time and what's it to me? The what cares factor is indeed prevalent, especially among a millennial audience and among a consumer with lots to choose from, many daily stresses, I know all of us know a bit about that, living in New York City, and also short attention spans. <coughs> JetBlue, Nike, Victoria's Secret, Lay's, these are all brands that have been able to use social media to see quantitative results that reflect success in their brands. I've seen and reported on and rejected the good, the bad, and the ugly in terms of social media. I studied and witnessed and practiced what works and what doesn't. I was around when web diaries weren't blogs that you can make money off of. And before 140 characters could get you a job, a new client, or close a deal. So I've been on both sides of the coin. I came in on the newspaper side. Remember those when people actually read newspapers and magazines? And now I'm on the digital side because I saw in my career that is where the trend is going. I like to be on the pulse of the trend. As an entrepreneur, if you're smart, this is where you want to be. You want to be on the pulse of the trend. You want to be where people are in your industry. As a matter of fact, you want to be ahead of where everyone is in your industry. And this is where social media comes in. For example, you want exposure for your business? What better way to reach media and PR professionals that you may not have readily had access to in the days of pick up a phone and call me? You have Twitter, you have Facebook, you have their websites, you have Instagram, various other platforms where you can actually reach these people in real time, tweet them, say hello, I love your work, interact with them, and see if you can get coverage for your business or your client or professional or even for yourself. I believe even if you aren't an entrepreneur, you are a brand. You are a brand that is yourself. So whatever you do, you should conduct yourself as a small business owner would. I am the brand that is Chanel Hazelwood, so therefore I have to conduct myself in that way. 
I work within another brand, which is Black Enterprise, something called entrepreneurship, which how many people know about that, entrepreneurship, where you are an entrepreneur by mindset, but you work for another company within their goals and within your own goals for yourself. So this is where social media can really help you. So same goes for business partners. You can find top talent, B2B, anything you want to engage and connect with who can make you your next dollar, your next profit, your best talent, they are on social media. Now I'm a little, I'm gonna be a little quick because I'm not really a lecturer. I'm more of the Diana Ross, circa 1973, walking through the crowd saying, hey, how can I help you, who are you, who are you, young lady, who are you, and why are you here type of person? So I'm not really a lecturer. However, I'm going to close with this. My grandmother, who practically raised me, as a matter of fact, my family is from 141st and Lenox. She practically raised me, and today, she's almost 90 years old. She does not, She's like an 90 year old version of me, so if you can imagine. <laughs> she raised five children and dozens of grandchildren. Now, the only reason she has a computer to this day is because one of my uncles bought her a computer because her paper stubs are no longer available via paper. So she has to go on the web and get those pay stubs. And the only way she does that is she calls my uncle, he comes in and logs in for her, he gets it all done and that's it. So she never really touches her computer. However, when a family member has an update on Facebook, you know about it. And she comes and she says this, I quote, those Facebooks are gonna get y'all in trouble, telling all your business, you're just too idle. That's what she says. And my answer to that is this, social media is not just for ratchet gossip, it's not just for cute pets, and it's not just for more like drama. Smart business people have been able to leverage it to spark innovation and ultimately make money. So here's what I'd like to challenge you all to do, because at Black Enterprise, and I myself believe that this is your time capital that you are spending with me. Therefore, you should have a return on your investment. So here's what I challenge you to do today. I want each and every one of you to find a way to make social media work for you and your business. It doesn't have to be Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or all of them at once. You have to really look into each, set your goals, see how each can be best used for your unique goals, and don't reinvent the, the wheel, revolutionize it for your life. <coughs> I also can't leave the stage without urging you to follow Black Enterprise on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever platform of your choosing. We are on all of those. Uh, we're at Black Enterprise if you want to know about Twitter, and anywhere else you can find from there. I don't just say that because they cash my checks. I say it because I believe in the brand. It is my lifestyle. Wealth building for minorities is something I'm passionate about, especially for women Young professionals, this is something I'm very passionate about, and we write about that on Black Enterprise. Also, global commerce and professionals, to be able to connect with some of your global peers and industry players, those are other ways we've been able to do that at Black Enterprise. So make sure you follow us and check us out on blackenterprise.com. Also, I'm also a Twitter fanatic, I gotta mention that again. I'm at JP Hazelwood, and also I have to plug the class again that Ali spoke about, which is going to be taught at CUNY if you want to know more about monetizing social media for your brand and which is you or your business check into it if you'd like to speak with me after this is over I'm very open to that thank you so much today and again you are a brand yourself invest in yourself and get on social media before you get left behind <laughs>